Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the 1999 Mitsubishi Eclipse from the Fast and the Furious and obviously we're going to be using this brand new Maibatsu Pro Number FF to create this build and it just looks awesome, it looks so much nicer than the OG Penumbra and this is going to look so much better as well and at the end of the video we will have a comparison of the Penumbra FF compared to the OG Penumbra with the same liveries. So without any further ado guys, let's jump into it and we're gonna start obviously with 100% body armor as always. Then we're gonna go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. For the bumper, front bumpers, we're gonna go for this racing bumper. It is pretty much spot on, to be honest. It is very, very close to what we need. So yeah, without a doubt, racing bumper for the front bumper. Now for the rear bumpers, um, if you've seen my previous videos on this Penumbra FF, the rear bumpers are pretty weak, to be honest. Uh, the stock bumper is always the best one to go for uh, because all the other just all the other options are just diffusers. This one, you just got a massive gap in the middle, and then the other good option, which I th I thought was a good option, was the race rear bumper. The gaps for the exhausts. The exhausts don't sit central to the gaps, which is really irritating, and it just looks shit. So. I'm just going to stay stock for the rear bumper just because it just looks so much nicer than all the other options. And I think it's beneficial to this build. Then we're going to go to the engine and grab the level 4 engine upgrade. And for the exhaust, we're going to go and grab these dual titanium tip exhausts. Then we get options for front seats. This obviously includes a roll cage if you'd like to go down to, down to a roll cage. But from my reference photos, I can't see a roll cage in this car from Fast and the Furious. So I'm not going to include it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't see a roll cage in any of the photos or footage that I've found of the Fast and Furious Eclipse. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to go with these street seats. So next we've got the option for a hood, and you do want to change it, because it does have a bit of contour down the centre, and it bulges out a little bit, very subtly, on the sides. So, to replicate that best, I think... Is it the street hood? No, it's not. Yes, it is the street hood. I was looking at the sports hood. We want the street hood, this one here. Then we're going to go to the lights. We are going to grab the Xeon headlights. Neon kit, front, back and sides. And we're going to go and grab the lime green. And now for the livery, this is a no-brainer. It's called We Almost Had You, obviously. It just looks awesome. Obviously, it's not identical, but it is good enough for me. Then we're going to move on to the mirrors. We're going to go and grab the secondary mirrors. Next, we've got the respray. We're going to go primary color to start and we're going to get a classic and go and grab lime green and after just changing um, the main primary color of this car I've realized that we don't have an option to change the secondary color the secondary color does not include um, the hood unfortunately but it does include the mirrors we need black mirrors but we also need a black hood um, and in the movie it's a gloss black on the hood and on the mirrors but unfortunately we can't do that so what we're going to have to do is go back to the hood option and luckily enough, we can get this street hood in carbon. And that's just what we're going to have to do, unfortunately. Ideally, we'd want a gloss black and not a carbon black. But we've got to work with what we've got. So carbon street hood is the one we're going to go with. And like I said, the mirrors are pretty much spot on at the moment. But because we've got to have a carbon hood, I think grabbing carbon mirrors would look a little bit nicer. Just because they marry up that way. Obviously, it's up to you guys. If you don't want to go with the carbon mirrors because we do get the perfect option of secondary mirrors, it's entirely up to you guys. But for me, and because I like things to match a little bit more, I'm going to go with the carbon mirrors just so they match the hood. In an ideal world, the hood and the mirrors would both be gloss black, but it is what it is. It is Rockstar and GTA and nothing's perfect, so we've just got to work with what we've got, and I'm going to go with carbon for both. Then you want to move on to the roof. We do want to get a roof scoop and the perfect roof scoop is this bad boy, the built-in scoop. Then we're going to move on to the side skirts. You want to go and grab this angled large lip skirt. And we do get an option for a splitter, but the car in a movie, from what I can see, does not have a splitter. So we're going to skip past that. The spoiler, we are going to grab a spoiler. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get the silver spoiler that, we, that they have in the movie. But we can get something that looks very, very similar, um, which is this extended wing. Now, you can have two options. You can either get it in green, or you can get it in carbon. Either way, it's not perfect, because like I said, you need 
you need to have it silver for it to be a lot like the one from the movie but as you know we can't do that so it's up to you guys whether you want to go extended green or carbon extended it's entirely up to you me personally i think the carbon looks a little bit nicer and that matches obviously the hood and the mirrors as well but green also looks cool um, but for me i'm gonna go with the carbon extended wing so then we get an option for suspension uh if you go competition on this it slams it man with a lot of camber we don't want to be doing that stock suspension is actually quite a nice height for it lowered is pretty good too street i think's pushing it a little bit especially for the time that this this car was built in real life obviously for the movie i think lowered suspension actually works the best so i'm going to go with lowered suspension transmission obviously you want to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning now for the wheels guys you want to go into the wheel type and unfortunately we still don't get to use the street wheels on any of these fast and furious builds yet but i'm pretty damn sure that there's going to be um, a car that we build from a movie or a tv show or whatever that's going to use these street wheels because they are awesome but unfortunately we're not going to use any of these in uh, the, today's build for this eclipse so we do need to go into the sport category uh go stay stock rims for these because we want to keep them alloy and in my opinion i think s racer is probably the best option out of everything that i've found if you guys think another set of wheels would suit it a lot a lot better then let me know in the comments down below i'd be interested to see but i think s racer is overall the best design for this car build so they're the ones i'm going to go with and like i said you want to keep them in alloy so the color that we've got them in at the moment is perfect and while you're here you might as well grab the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always you will go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so now we're pulling out of ls customs obviously i'm on the ps4 so it is dark i can't control the weather all the time unfortunately so i'm going to jump down into my garage and i'm going to compare this to the og penumbra so you're going to do is i'm now into one of my empty garages so i can compare these two vehicles together and um yeah man you look at that it looks awesome it looks so much like the eclipse from the fast and the furious in my opinion it just looks amazing it looks so good obviously it's not perfect because nothing is perfect in in gta but for what it is it looks so good and you compare it to what we was using as the eclipse before this was released worlds apart absolutely worlds apart look how much different they look obviously the same livery same color but we used to think this looked like the eclipse from the fast and the furious it doesn't not at all now we've got the penumbra ff you can see how wrong we was and how desperate we was to have this <laughs> the eclipse from uh, the fast and the furious but now rockstar have released this bad boy it just looks so much different and for some reason this penumbra ff looks like it's a different color green it's not they're both lime green maybe it's just the lighting in this garage which is weird but no this is definitely lime green you saw me choose it uh, i think the wheels might be a little bit different i think i've got the standard penumbra wheels on the on the og penumbra over there and on the see on this ff i've got uh, the S Racer rims. Um, but yeah, just completely different. Other than the livery and the colour, you can see that this FF is so much more like the actual Eclipse from The Fast and the Furious. It is un unreal. And I love it. I think it's awesome. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this? And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.